This is the seventh video in the series titled, Scientists Are Stupid. Scientists are stupid. Scientists will either overlook, they will refuse to accept, or they will refuse to even consider the most obvious and common sense things. Many scientists feel they should not bother talking to anyone who is not a scientist. Nor should they bother considering any idea that does not originate with a scientist. This series of videos is dedicated to correcting the stupidity that scientists have told the public to believe. Hopefully, the embarrassment scientists might feel at their stupidity being corrected in front of the entire world will motivate them to open their minds and perhaps motivate them to be more willing to listen to people and ideas they would normally refuse to listen to. With that introduction, the subject of this video can begin. A previous video in this series made use of the word force, which is a term from the science of physics. A force is defined as something that can cause a mass to accelerate. A more simplistic definition for the term force would be something that can cause something else to move. The previous video claimed that forces were generated by and flow through the human body and that the generation and flow of those forces could be treated as a system that is necessary to the proper functioning of the human body in the same way that a circulatory system or a nervous system is necessary for the proper functioning of the human body. The forces flowing through a healthy human body were claimed to follow particular patterns and were said to move the internal parts of the body in ways that are necessary to keeping a human being alive and healthy. The definition of a healthy human body using the status of the force system in the human body as the basis for determination was then defined as a human body in which the forces are being generated and flowing in the way they were designed to. The definition for an unhealthy human body was stated as a human body in which forces are not being generated as they were designed to be generated or a human body in which forces are not flowing along the pathways they were designed to flow along. No mention was made in the previous video of exactly how an alteration in the level of forces generated by a human body, or exactly how an alteration to the path followed by forces flowing within a human body would change that body. The next part of this video is going to discuss how the generation of an improper amount of force by the body, or how generated forces flowing where they were not designed to flow, can change the condition of some area of the body. A force was previously defined as something that could cause something else to move. Another property of a force is that a force can produce sensations of pressure in a human body. An example of this property would be the finger of one hand pressing into the palm of the other hand. The body is generating a force that is flowing into the finger, causing it to press into the palm of the other hand. The force in the finger leaves the finger and moves into the palm, which produces sensations of pressure in the palm because the force actually is increasing the pressure in the palm. A healthy human body was previously defined as generating a certain level of forces in various areas of the body. It was just stated that forces are associated with sensations of pressure in a human body, so those generated forces are associated with a related amount of pressure in each of those areas of the body. A healthy human body was also described as one in which the generated forces flowed along specified pathways they were designed to flow along. Those flowing forces are also associated with a related amount of pressure all along the pathways they are flowing through. The definition of a healthy human body for this video can now be presented by substituting the word pressure for the word force in the force definition of a healthy human body. The definition of a healthy human body, using the status of the pressure system within the human body as the basis for determination, would be a human body in which the proper amount of pressure is being generated, applied to, and flowing through every area of the entire human body. The definition of an unhealthy human body would be any human body in which an improper amount of pressure is being generated, applied to, or flowing through some area of the human body. A simple demonstration of one way that force-induced pressure changes in some area of the human body can cause health problems will be presented next.
This picture shows a human body. A circle is drawn in the center of the stomach and some arrows are drawn from the shoulders and hips that point to the circle. This picture will represent the flow of forces in a healthy human body. The arrows representing forces are all centered on the circle in the stomach where they will produce some amount of pressure that the stomach has been designed to handle. The force arrows have been moved so they point at the heart in this picture. A healthy human body was defined as one in which the force arrows were pointing at the stomach, so this picture of a human body with the forces flowing into the heart is a picture of an unhealthy human body. The reason why the body in this picture would be unhealthy is easy to understand. Forces are associated with sensations of pressure in the human body. Because the forces in the body are improperly focused on the heart, the heart is going to experience sensations of increased pressure. The heart was not designed to withstand the forces of the entire body being focused on it, nor was it designed to withstand the resulting increase in pressure. If those forces remain focused on the heart, the increase in pressure on the heart would cause some type of heart problem to occur. According to the creator of this video, pressure caused heart problems are what stupid western scientists call a stress caused heart attack. Western scientists claim that one of the causes of heart attack is stress, which they describe as a nebulous combination of mental, emotional, and environmental factors. While it may be true that mental stress as defined by Western scientists could contribute to a heart attack, according to the concepts discussed in this video, a heart attack is the result of a measurable buildup of force-induced pressure on the heart due to the improper focusing of bodily forces on the heart. The difference between these two views of the cause of heart attack would lead to completely different methods of heart attack prevention and treatment. A scientist who is treating a patient for potential heart attack might recommend some mental calming therapy or prescribe them mentally calming drugs in order to reduce the potential for a heart attack. An individual who understood that heart attack is caused by a real measurable force induced pressure increase in the heart would treat the problems of the body that were causing bodily forces to improperly focus on the heart. There are two main ways that forces within the body could become unbalanced and improperly focused on the heart. The first way would be a change in the force or pressure distribution in some other internal part of the body like the liver or the stomach. The second way would be a misalignment of the muscular or skeletal systems. Treating a patient with a potential for a force or pressure imbalance cause heart attack would depend on the cause of the force or pressure imbalance. If the cause was a force or pressure imbalance in some other internal part of the body, that internal part of the body should be treated so its force and pressure balance return to normal. If the cause was a misalignment of the muscular or skeletal systems, then the patient would benefit from physical therapies that would properly align their muscular or skeletal system, which would allow the force and pressure in the body to return to its normal balanced state. In neither one of those treatments was the heart itself treated in any way. The potential for heart attack was relieved indirectly by treating some other internal part of the body, the muscular system, or the skeletal system. The heart was used as an example of a force or pressure imbalance caused health problem. Health problems can develop anywhere in the body where the force or pressure is not being generated in the way it was designed to be generated and anywhere the force and pressure is not flowing the way it was designed to. One would think that since Western scientists invented the concept of forces, and their own definition of a force says that forces can generate pressure, that Western scientists would know all about how the proper generation and flow of force or pressure within a human body was necessary to the proper health of a human body but Western scientists do not seem to be aware of the fact that there is a force or pressure system within the human body whose proper functioning is just as necessary to the optimal health of a human body as the proper functioning of the circulatory or nervous systems are to the optimal health of a human body. So why haven't scientists, who have had hundreds of years since their invention of the concept of forces, applied the concept of forces and force-induced pressures to the health of the human body? There can only be one reason. Scientists are stupid. 
really stupid. 